Hi guys and welcome. Today on ATPL3 we're going to be talking about a propeller's angle of attack. Now this topic is a little bit confusing. I hope this diagram helps you understand it. I've drawn a propeller. As we all know, a propeller is essentially just an aerofoil. On the bottom axis I have TAFs, i.e. speed, and on the vertical axis there I have RPM, and they are both increasing outwards like this. So increasing TAFs, increasing RPM. First off, let's say, what is angle of attack? Represented by this symbol here is the angle between the cord line and the relative airflow. There's my cord line, represented with a black dotted line, and these lines here are my relative airflow. Let's take the first example, nice and easy. We've just started up our aircraft, our little Piper, our Cessna, and we're sitting still. So we have zero TAS, we're on the ground. However, we have some RPM. If we have some RPM but zero TAS, you can see there, if we follow the relative airflow, to the tip of the propeller, the angle is going to be quite large. If we start to increase our speed, this is of course for a fixed pitch propeller, as we start to increase our speed, that angle there starts to reduce. So if we add some speed on at that same RPM, now we can see that angle is slightly smaller, until eventually, with an increase in speed, will actually lead to a negative angle of attack. If we increase our RPM, you can see there the angle of attack will actually increase because it will pull that relative airflow away from the nose as we increase our RPM. So you can see with my little decreasing angle of attack arrow that follows all the way down from here. So if we're going in this direction, the angle of attack is decreasing and it can become negative once it goes past the cord line. There will be a point at which the angle of attack is zero and then the angle of attack will start to become negative. So to sum up, if RPM is increasing, angle of attack is also increasing as that angle is getting bigger as it's pulling the line down towards this way. And if TAS is increasing, the angle of attack will be decreasing as it's pulling the line in the other direction until it will eventually become negative. So, what are the cons of a fixed pitch propeller? Well, a fixed pitch propeller is only efficient at one speed, yeah, because that would coincide to a good angle of attack to give it good propulsion forward. So, as you can see with a fixed pitch propeller, if you go too fast, it will actually have a negative angle of attack and hence it will just be a giant drag disc. Conversely, if we increase our RPM too much at a low speed, the prop will actually be stalled. I hope that diagram has given you a better picture of the angle of attack of a propeller relative to the RPM and the TAS. If you'd like to see more videos, please like, share and subscribe. All the best and until next time.